Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm so excited to share Club La La Land Crafts April 2019th monthly subscription. And check out the description box. I'll have everything linked below. Um, it's a monthly base subscription and it's so much fun getting this sweet little package in the mail every month. There are three different kits to choose from. The one I'm going to show you today is the full kit, the stamp and die kit. It's the best kit that they have. It's the best value. It's $39.99. And the two other kits you can choose from are just the stamps, which is $19.99, or just the dies, which is $29.99. And I also will show you, share with you a card that I made using the kit along with a tutorial. Um, but let me show you what comes in this stamp kit. So here are the stamps and here are the dies. I already added mine to a magnetic piece, but look at these dies. So gorgeous. You have the word Paris with the Eiffel Tower. You have the lamp post there. You have this gorgeous Argyle cutout and then these beautiful flowers. And the stamps, I'm gonna show you how well they stamp. Adorable poodles with these great things. And then you got Marcy in Paris. And before I show you these, I did want to also share my second project um, that I made with this beautiful kit. I made a notebook, and this is approximately nine and a half by five and a half. Again, I used that same paper collection from Knitwick Collections, and I used black chipboard. I love the black with this paper collection. I used some silver bling on the side, added some ribbon here, topped it with some pearls. I used the die cut Paris, added a silver glitter piece of paper on top, and I did stack these to give it a black um, shadow. And then I also used this adorable flower cluster with the leaves. Again, cut from white paper, quickly colored with Copic markers, added some pearls in the center there. I added a black bow with a little diamond center with the pearl. Here's some Crystal Nouveau drops. I used the It's a Good Day to Have a Good Day stamp, the Adorable Poodle, and then Marcy. She's so cute. I paper pieced her again using the paper collection and paper pieced the, um, on the front of the doggy, used some cool gray markers to color him. And for Marcy, I added this cute little bow bling, some pearl bling to her shirt and also her purse. And I did also paper piece her skirt. I added some um, shadows and dimension with some Prismacolor pencils and I colored her hair and skin with some Copics. For the side here, I used the stitch bracket border die from La La Land Crafts. I'll be sure to link to that. I did three different layers and then I bound it with my cinch. So when you open it up, it's a large notebook. Lots of paper in it. So it's great for note taking, drawing, doodling. Here's the back and then the back of the book. So if you've never used rubber edge stamps, they have a removable backing that will make it sticky um, on any acrylic block that you like, you can use it in a misty, but these are high, high quality, deep edged rubber stamps. So you get a beautiful impression from them. And then let me stamp them out so you can see. If you're using a misty, you just want to take the padding out, but I want you to get a good look at these stamps. So go ahead and remove your padding. because they come with the padding on them, so you don't need that. And I'm just gonna add a piece of cardstock in here. This is not any special cardstock. I'm gonna remove the backing and then you can just replace this back on. Now, if you join the kit, this month you have to join by the 19th of April. This is 2019. 
April 19th. I'll have the details down in the description box and also a link to their website where it will have all the details as well. But this is the only way that you can get these kits is by joining their monthly subscription. These are exclusive to the subscription, so you will not be able to find these anywhere else. And they're exclusive for about six months to a year. And then once you join their monthly subscription, you, after a month, after you're in your second month, you have the choice to choose older kits that they have since released. So, and then also on just La La Land Crafts, they have tons to choose from. Stamps, dies, digital, ton of stuff to choose from. So check it out. And look how gorgeous this is. This is my very first time stamping this. Look at that image quality. These are so much fun. I did I paper pieced today. Um, here's the sentiments. It's a good day to have a good day from Paris with love. And then let me just quickly clean this. You can use a baby wipe. You can use anything you normally use to clean your stamps. And then let me stamp out the other ones to show you. These adorable poodles. I'll place another piece in here. I'm using some VersaFine Black Onyx Ink. If you are going to Copic color, you want to use a Copic Friendly Ink. And when you join their, their monthly subscription, they have links for you from all the amazing design team members, all their projects and tutorials. So you'll get an exclusive link to that where you'll get all the tutorials you can follow along, all the measurements. Again, look how gorgeous this is. Look at these adorable poodles. It says, today is going to be possum, sending oodles and poodles of love, ooh la la, bonjour. So as you can see, these stamp out gorgeously. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment and let me show you how I made this card here. Set this aside. So here is this large card that I made and I'm going to be hand delivering this. Um, you may want to make it scale it down a little bit smaller if you were going to be sending it. It is a little bit dimensional which I love in a card. But I have this adorable paper piece. I colored her skin and, that, and her hair. But the rest is paper piece and I used a beautiful collection, actually two collections from Knitwood Collections. The Ooh La La collection, which is a Paris themed collection. I'll link to that in the description box as well. And I also use the Abigail collection. They're very, they go very well together. So as you can see, I added a black mat. I used this silver glitter. Matter of fact, th I've made four projects with these stamp kits and I've used the same paper collection throughout because it just is a perfect match in my opinion. So I've used the tag dies from Club La La, excuse me, from La La Land Crafts. I use some pieces from the paper collection. I use the A in this, which is the Eiffel Tower. I use this gorgeous Argyle pattern in the back here where the black shows through the pattern paper. And then I also use this um, beautiful flower cluster that I cut from white paper and then I just color very quickly color copic uh, the two different colors, the pink and the green. I added two of these bows with pearls in the center and then this adorable poodle. So let me quickly show you how I did that. Now for my card base, it is a little bit larger. The um, card base is six and three eighths by six and three eighths. I have large paper. This is like 11 by um, 17 size. So I use this as my card base, but I want to show you today how you can do it if you don't have access to large paper like that. So you want to go ahead and cut two pieces of black cardstock. You're going to cut one that is seven by six and three eighths and one that is six and three eighths by six and three eighths. And that's going to be your card base size. So the little bit larger one, the seven by six and three eighths, go ahead and put it in your scoreboard. 
on the seven inch side and score it at six and three eighths. So six and three eighths is gonna be that line right past the quarter mark. Go ahead and give it a score. And you have an option of cutting off these corners. I'll show you quickly in case you wanna do that. You just wanna cut them just a, at a slight angle on both sides from your score mark out. Okay, now we're giving ourselves a flap to adhere down to our card base. And then this way we can open up our card base. So let me go ahead and adhere that down. I'm gonna, for this demonstration, use ATG to make everything super quick. And again, if you are, if you join the um, monthly subscription, you're gonna get a link to all the details. I'll have all written instructions on this as well. So just adhere that, trying to line that up at the top. It's easier to use wet adhesive as opposed to tape because it gives you a second to kind of move it around. But again, I'm trying to make this a little bit quicker. Also, I did cut a piece for the inside of my card. And I like to do that because it's black cardstock, but it also hides that little tab. So let's just quickly put that down. And now that hides that little flap so you can make your card a little bit larger. My next decorative piece is six and three eighths by six and three eighths. That's going to cover the front of our card. And I'm just using a very little bit of tape for demonstration. Our next black piece is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. I did that just so you could see this beautiful design paper. I wanted to really show it off. I happen to use this on all my projects this month, this paper, like I mentioned, because I absolutely loved it with the adorable Marcy. This glitter piece, it's different than on my card. It was just an extra piece that I had. This is five and three eighths by five and three eighths. And now using the large stitched tags die from La La Land Crafts, the number is 8414, I'll be sure to link to that. I used the largest one. I cut it out three different times. I cut it out from black, from a pattern, and then a light pattern. And this is what I put my image on. And then this I just kind of wanted peeking out. So before you glue those down, you want to take this along with your die here and run this through your Sizzix die machine or whatever die cut machine you have. So let me pull that out quickly. So I just laid that on here, ran that through. I used the paper release and just kind of poked out my pieces here. And as you can see, that is absolutely beautiful. And what may not show up very well on camera is it does have some stitching detail to it as well. So now I just simply moved this down and ran it through again, doing the exact same thing. And it gave me this beautiful pattern. So once I did that, I glued down my black piece behind it so it gives it that pattern so you can see the black peeking out.
and I tied some seam binding through that. And then I went ahead and adhered this piece down, added that. I added one of these adorable bows. That is from the stitched bow die from La La Land Crafts, 8264. Again, I'll link to all this. And then I also added my Eiffel Tower, um, another little bow, the little flower cup cluster. And again, I paper piece this. I just wanted to go over that quickly as well. So you just, it's if you're not familiar with paper piecing, you simply stamp your design on scrap pieces of paper and then cut them out. So let's see, and you can do different portions. So let's go ahead and do her little shirt first. So I'm just gonna kind of place that where I think. And then whatever ink you wanna use, I like a black line. I don't mind a black line, I should say. So you just wanna ink that up. stamp it down and I could have used larger pieces of pattern paper but I thought for this demonstration just little pieces would be good and then as you can see I have her shirt on there you just want to take some sharp scissors and cut that out I like to cut right outside of the black line You can cut right inside the black line, however you choose to do it. And I did this with her, her hat and her skirt, even her socks. So just slowly take your time, cut it out. And I even cut out this hair piece. Just kind of move the paper, keep your scissors as straight as possible and slowly cut that out. And then you can match her to your paper collection perfectly. So thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you check out Club La La Land Crafts. I will, as I mentioned, link everything down in the description box below as well as over on my blog. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Again, to reiterate, you have until April 19th, 2019 to sign up for this absolutely adorable, versatile kit. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.